All right, so we are back here. Uh, it went through the whole process here and uh, built everything, and it's saying that it's running on port 8080. What we're going to need to do is open a new uh, tab here because we're going to need to get the IP address of this um, Docker or this uh, Cloud9 environment. So we go to a terminal here. I'm going to type in curl HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 169.254.169.254. Uh, latest metadata we'll hit enter make sure this works and then we'll type forward slash public ipv4 and that's the ip address so what we can do with this is just copy this here and go port 8080 and we will see if this works oh let's just click it too eh? uh open and there it is so this is running in a single docker container the reason you'd want to dockerize your environment is because it allows you to ship um, your your configuration uh, with uh, your code base. Uh, so you saw before we were restricted to version 10.18 whatever of no, but now we are only restricted to whatever we provide with it. So a lot more flexibility around that. Uh, in order to prepare this for deployment, we aren't going to need this node modules anymore uh, because we are using a Docker container and this is just going to do nothing. So we'll go ahead and remove that. So what I want you to do is just close this tab here. I'm going to do a control C to stop the Docker container. I'm going to go CD tilde. Oh, we're already in the right place, but this is where we need to be. Uh, and now we're just going to do RM uh, EB extension uh, 002 and just remove that file. So now that's been removed. Um, we need to make an adjustment to this file here. I'll just hit keep open. This needs to be port 8080 because that's what we're setting in our application. And uh, let's go ahead and commit our changes here. So configure db for Docker. And so now that our pushes have been changed, what we can do is go ahead and do an EB create hyphen hyphen single so we don't launch a load balancer. We are going to name this one uh, different just so we can identify it. So we're going to say study sync docker. We'll hit enter. We'll hit no. We don't want spot instances. And we will make our way over to the um, Cloud9 or Cloud9 over here, do a refresh. We'll give it a second here to start up. There it goes. We can see that it's using the Docker platform. We'll do a refresh. And we will just wait until this is done and see if it works.